Welcome to our comprehensive guide on the Tandem Moby Insulin Pump. By the end of this module, you'll have a thorough understanding of how the Tandem Moby Insulin Pump works, its various features, including the pump's components, charging the pump, unlocking process, the screens and menus on the Tandem Moby mobile app, and do's and don'ts. 1. Parts and buttons on the pump. The Tandem Moby pump is a modular semi-patch pump. It has around the same size and weight as an Omnipod pump. It consists of a durable pump base that has a guarantee of four years and a disposable cartridge and T-lock connector that should be replaced every three days. The pump has no screen and is controlled by the Tandem Moby mobile app. It has one pump button on the bottom. This button is used to turn the pump on or off, deliver a quick bolus, snooze alerts and alarms, and activate the pump status lights. Above the pump button, there are two status lights that light up in different colors and patterns to let you know what the pump is doing even if you don't have your smartphone with you. To view the lights you need to press and release the pump button, after a few seconds the pump status lights will light up and the pattern will display for 10 seconds. Each color has a different meaning. Red represents an alarm or malfunction. This means that all insulin delivery has stopped. If you see this, please check your pump as soon as possible. Yellow represents an alert or a reminder such as a sensor expiring soon or low battery. Blue represents bolus delivery or the tubing being filled during the cartridge loading process. White represents either that the pump is charging or insulin delivery has been stopped manually. Green represents basal delivery or a temp basal rate is being delivered. Refer to your user guide to learn more about the pump status, lights blinking patterns. Understanding these components and indicators will ensure you can effectively manage your insulin delivery with the Tandem Moby Insulin Pump. 2. Charging the Pump When you receive the pump, you'll need to charge it first. The Tandem Moby Pump does not have a charging port. Instead, it comes with an inductive charging pad that connects to a power source using a USB or to a USB-C cable. It also includes accessories for charging from a wall outlet. You should only use accessories that have been provided by Tandem Diabetes Care and we don't recommend using adapters or extension cords. While charging your system, make sure the inductive charging pad is plugged into a functioning wall outlet. There is a logo on the back of the pump and a T logo on the top of the charging pad. Align these logos and note that the pump will not be centered on the pad. There are two signs to look for that your pump is charging. First, the charging pad will briefly light up. Second, you'll see a lightning bolt icon on the top of the battery symbol in the upper left corner of the Tandem Moby mobile app. The pump status lights can also be used to show the charge amount. One of the lights will blink if the charge is less than 50%. If the charge is more than 50%, one light will be solid white while the other blinks until the pump is fully charged. You will know charging is complete when the pump status lights above the pump button are white. A full charge will typically last between 3 and 5 days depending on your use. If your pump power is very low, one light will blink red, or it may not turn on. It is recommended to avoid fully draining the battery and charging the pump daily for a short period of time, like 10 to 15 minutes. The pump will work normally while it is charging, so you don't need to disconnect if you don't want to. However, if you do disconnect while charging, you may need to replace missed basal insulin. Never disconnect your pump during the delivery of an insulin bolus, and always check your blood glucose levels before disconnecting and again before reconnecting. If you lose any accessories or need replacements, you can contact Tandem Customer Technical Support. 3. Unlocking the Pump Next, we'll proceed to show you how to turn the pump on and off. To turn the pump off, place it on the charging pad and make sure the logos on the pump and the pad align. Don't worry if it looks a little off-center. Now hold the pump button for 20 seconds. The pump will beep three times before it will turn off. To turn on the pump, Place it on the charging pad. While it is on the charging pad, press and hold the pump button until you see the pump status lights on the pump light up. The pump will beat four times when it has turned on and is ready to use. Be aware that when you first receive your pump, you may be able to see the pump status lights when the pump button is pressed. This does not necessarily mean that the pump is turned on. 4. Home screen and pump menu on Tandem Moby mobile app. Now let's move on to learning more about the mobile app. We will begin with an overview of the dashboard. Once your pump has synced with the mobile app, pump data can be viewed on the mobile app's main screen or dashboard. At the top, the mobile app displays the pump battery level. Please note that this icon is different from the phone battery level, which is shown on the top right corner of the screen. 
The antenna icon shows CGM communication status and next to that, alert status is displayed when an alert is active. On the top right, you'll find the basal and bolus delivery status icons, as well as the amount of insulin remaining in the cartridge. Below those, insulin on board is shown. On the left, you will see the most recent glucose reading with a trend arrow. In the center of the dashboard is the graph of the most recent glucose readings. This graph displays sensor readings for the last 24 hours. You can swipe left and right to see all 24 hours in the graph. The graph includes glucose values that were entered into the bolus calculator, shown as a circle on the graph. At the bottom of the dashboard, you see the basal rates for the past 24 hours including changes in insulin delivery related to use of control IQ technology. The amount of insulin delivered as a bolus is shown as a droplet. This includes meal boluses, manual correction boluses, and any automatic correction boluses within the time frame displayed on the dashboard. If you tap on a bolus icon or a glucose value on the graph, detailed information about that event will pop up on the screen. Right beneath the graph, you see your time and range for the past 24 hours. This is calculated based upon the values you entered into the target glucose limits found in glucose threshold settings. When you swipe up, you find the current status of the pump. At the top, the current basal rate is displayed. Information on the last bolus delivered is shown here. You see the current status of Control IQ technology. Next, you see the settings for the active personal profile and beneath that you see the status of the CGM system, which may vary by sensor. Within the pump menu, you find the following. This is where you program personal profiles and where you turn on Control IQ technology. You program the quick bolus settings and delivery limits, which are the max bolus and basal rate limit values. You program the time and date for your pump from this menu. So this is where you need to go after the time changes or when you travel to update the time on your pump, since it is not automatically updated when the time on your phone changes. You can find pump info and at the bottom is where you go to update your pump software. 5. Do's and Don'ts Here are a few important tips to keep in mind. You can find a comprehensive menu overview in the Downloads section, which can be saved for easy reference when providing remote guidance as a healthcare provider. The pump is water-resistant for up to 2 hours at a depth of 2.4 meters or 8 feet. The Tandem Mobi mobile app is only available for iPhones with iOS version 16 and 17. You can check your device's compatibility on Tandem's website. The Tandem Mobi mobile app must run in the background in order to receive and transmit data to and from your pump, as well as to the Tandem cloud. Be sure to disable battery optimization on your smartphone to ensure the Tandem Mobi mobile app can receive alerts and alarms. It's also possible that there is a Bluetooth disconnection between the Mobi pump and your smartphone. In that case, you will see a pump connection lost notification banner at the top of the home screen of the Tandem Mobi mobile app together with how much time has lapsed since your pump disconnected from your smartphone. You will also see a gray shaded area on the graph since no data can be displayed when the connection is lost. The Modi pump will continue to deliver insulin as intended, receive glucose values if paired to a CGM, and all pump alerts, alarms, reminders, and malfunctions will enunciate on your pump even when disconnected from your smartphone. The bolus screen on your Tandem Mobi mobile app will be inaccessible when disconnected. However, if enabled previously, the pump button on the pump may still be used to deliver a quick bolus. Take these steps to reconnect your pump to your smartphone. Make sure that your pump and smartphone are within 1.5 meter or 5 feet of one another and without any obstruction between the two, including body parts. If you have persistent issues with the Tandem Mobi mobile app, close or force stop the Tandem Mobi mobile app to end the current session. If the issue persists, try repairing the pump. The Tandem Mobi pump does not automatically adjust the time and date. When changing between winter and summer time, or when traveling to a different time zone, you need to adjust the time yourself. You can do that via the pump settings. Finally, it's important to note that you should avoid placing metal objects on the charging pad. Congratulations! You now have a good understanding of how the Tandem Mobi insulin pump works, including its parts, charging process, how to turn the pump on and off, and the different screens and menus. In the next video, we will delve into setting insulin delivery, so stay tuned.